uh, Duplicator 6 Plus a new firmware and in this video I'm going to show you how you should uh, flash the firmware and uh, label the Z offset. Uh, for that, first of all, you have to go to OneHow website and go to the download software menu and Duplicator 6 Plus and uh, you have to scroll down the page and uh, here is the firmware, the newest one as you see, version v2.24 hex file. And uh, before it happened to me, uh, I couldn't flash the firmware from this version of one Kura, then I switched to the other one. So uh, you have to also note that in case uh, you can't uh, flash the firmware in uh, Kura version 16.21, then uh, please try and switch to the Kura version to the beta, uh, beta edition. And then uh, here you are, then I go to the, and then uh, make sure you have the USB cable connected to the, connected to the printer and your PC, then go to the uh, manage printers and uh, press uh, upgrade firmware as you see and upload custom firmware and my firmware is here all right right here and click on open i just wait for a few seconds takes few seconds just and this should turn off and on once yes the flashing process is done then as you see then I close this I disconnect my USB cable and just to make sure everything is okay, I'm going to turn off and on the printer once more. And here you are. All right. Then uh, you should go to menu to maintenance and go to leveling. Just try to, uh, if you can see here, go to leveling and then press leveling and uh, Z probe offset if you can see that clearly all right and I then press on it and then ask for yes and press continue and it goes right at the middle of the print bed. All right, and uh, here is here is uh, uh, what you see. Then from here you can rotate the knob here and adjust the Z offset. As you see, you can lower and raise the print bed. Then I try to find the best distance between the nozzle and the uh, print bed. Then I can use a paper and make sure everything is okay. And uh, if you find the proper distance between the nozzle and the print bed, then you should move the nozzle around the print bed and use these uh, springs under the print bed and adjust them and make sure the print bed is also leveled and here as you see I think that's all right and then again I press continue and it says uh, whether you want to save the Z, uh, Z offset probe or not then I say yes And uh, 
here I go to the auto bed leveling menu again and press it And please wait until the auto bed leveling process uh, is finished and then uh, you can uh, start printing. So then again, uh, first of all, you have to adjust the Z offset. You can rotate the knob here. You can adjust the Z offset and make sure, and uh, then move the extruder all over the print bed, adjust the springs from here, and then you can do the auto bed leveling. Thanks for watching.